What's happening guys, you're here with Nate. This is a tutorial about how to level a vocal in a mix without using compression. Uh, this is using automatic leveling matching. Uh, so Isotope make a plugin called Nectar and you can see here this is the first vocal in yellow. The next one in blue or aqua below that is the leveled version. So the reason why you want to do this is because you don't want to have these peaks stick out uh, and sometimes people use compression to push them back down uh, but I like to use this auto leveling before I get into compression first off so let me show you what it sounds like and then you can kind of see how this uh this works there so let's play the mix comprehensible they don't get it now counting numbers they only measure value by the dick now it's not too much it doesn't affect it too much but you can hear that value jumps out when he says that and I'll play it with it uh with it done with the leveling done, uh, let's mute that. Comprehensible, they don't get it. Nah. Counting numbers, they only measure value by the digits. So it's still got that that whole push, and it feels dynamic, but you don't have that issue with the uh, the problems with the peaks that I had there. So let's get into how I did this really quickly. I want to show you guys uh, this because it's kind of a cool technique. It really saves you a bit of time. Um, so I'm using this plugin here without any of the features in it except for the ALM. Uh, and then I use a limiter as well, but you don't have to have the limiter if you want to have it just a little bit more dynamic. I would suggest using the limiter off and uh, just having this on here. So enable that. Um, I'll play the track. I'll show you what, the, what this looks like. Comprehensible. They don't get it. Nah. Counting numbers. They only measure value by the digit. All right, so you can see this is set to minus eight. That's where I want my average, uh, so the automatic level amount to be set to. And that allows it to be in that kind of range, that ballpark area. So it's just a little bit below the peaks that I've already got there. And then if I wanted to have it just really uh, tucked in there nicely, I could put the limiter on there and maybe have that set to minus 7.5 just to have a little bit of leeway in between the uh, level matching and the limiter there. And then I can have this on match if I want to it doesn't really change too much it just perceivably changes the sound uh, but you can do that if you want or off it doesn't really matter too much in that respect uh, but I'll just leave that uh, there and then what I'll do is I'll get the track that I want and I can bounce that out so you just go right click and go to mix down selection so if you hit that you'll see it does a mix down and then that's my new vocal right there and I've got away with the old one not having those peaks anymore and we're ready to roll with compression or other things that you want to put on in the mix. So hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully you get something from this. Uh, Waves have plugins like this as well called the Vocal Writer and other, I think, companies have plugins but this one's really simple to use, straightforward. Hopefully it helps you guys. Let's get to it. Let's go.